introduce pewter as a material to you. When I buy it, I buy it in sheet form. So this is a chunk of a fairly thick pewter. It sells right now for about $20 a pound. Rather, silver sells for, I think it's about $38 an ounce right now. Still a reasonable and beautiful and very historical material. It's mostly tin, 92% tin, 6% uh, antimony, 2% copper. It doesn't rust, it doesn't tarnish appreciably, or it does gray up over time. It's uh, very workable and uh, uh, approachable material. So this is sheet pewter, and I fabricate this and build most of my forms with this. I don't do much casting, but this is about casting today because we can do it quickly here. Uh, in front of me, I have some colonial uh, pewter spoon mold. And I'm going to try to cast one. It doesn't always work the first time because the mold's got to get heated up. But we cast one earlier. And uh, because these molds don't fit together all that well, uh, we're just taping them up so we don't get any leakage. So to cast these, I need a ladle full of molten pewter which is not red hot. The other thing about pewter is that it has a very low melting point, under 500 degrees, which means that you can melt it on your kitchen stove, and many people have melted it on their kitchen stove inadvertently. <laughs> that wasn't a joke, that's been my experience. I used to repair it. Susie, you got that? Uh... Yeah, good. So I poured this. And when we take this apart, we'll try to pour another one. Uh, these molds are not great, you know. I, I bought these years ago, and sometimes the two halves are mismatched. Okay, but I think I got a full pour, but I can't tell. So this is, uh, I think it's probably one, you know, with a rat tail like that. No, this is a bigger one. This is a bigger one. Um, the pieces come out bright, and then they need to be finished by Egypt, and it was made of a very similar alloy, 
mixture of metal, mostly tin, a little bit of uh, copper, and, and then some antimony. There are lots of pewter alloys. 